Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Matrix Realm. The visual truth will blow your mind. This morning I'm going to do a shout out for Amy Victoria on Facebook. This lady can find the best SSI pictures of the space station of the sun simulator that I've ever seen. I've got some good ones, but these are just amazing. What I did was I took them and I 5K'd them. Uh, they were small phone shots uh, or small smaller shots, which actually were great for 5K. Anyway, she's brought us pictures like, uh, remember seeing this? I did a night vision on these she caught. Um, this was the filtered version. This was 2019. I've had these for a while. I haven't seen these. But today, this, this kind of inspired me to open Phil's files. I have been holding back on you guys, and I'm going to open them up in my filter. So just keep hanging on. Enjoy the music. It's going to get wild and fast. So share with like two people before it even begins to premiere. God bless. Got Jesus? I gotta say it. You know, guys, I gotta say it. You gotta get Jesus. It's the best ever. Keep looking up. I'll be back with some rock and music. Pixio, I get nothing for saying that. But check out Amy Victoria's shot. You have an octagon here, you have an octagon here, okay, and back and around. You have these other objects which look like box. This one looks like a total box. You have it kind of cuts backwards and forward. That's a cube. That looks like a cube. So, you know, some of these people have been seeing cubes. Okay, and then you got this other light source. Um, don't know what to say about that. As much as I want to say it's a sun, another sun similar way to go on. Then you got the big ring. And everybody says, well, it's Earth's atmosphere. This is out in space, folks. Think about this. So, to me, this ring right here is, is pure proof that the sun simulator is active out in space. You can see how 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 nine streams beams this one beam right here just freaks out you'll see that in canada um, let's move over to phil's files um, so it's just a few um this is amy's documents right here down below i'm gonna go over to phil's documents now phil's got a lot and so get ready let's see if you, if you see your name in here you got pictures in here to be shown. Now I show people's pictures in different types of movies. Here's Phil. My buddy Phil. He drops off all kinds of goodies. Um, remember he showed us this. Now. That was my filter so I named it. But um, let's just go to this one right here. It's pretty amazing. And Phil sends me stuff like this. This is um, channel 1120. It doesn't matter how old it is, but you see that right there. Let's let's do some work on it. And what I do, and what I've been doing, I found myself doing, is just showing people what I think is real. Now, it's for you to say what what is real. Like you, some of you might say this is a gas giant. Some of you might. Some of you might not. So what I'm gonna do is just contrast that a little bit bright but that's okay we could use the brightness and then I'm gonna go over here to my dehazer dehazer is like uh, bringing the gamma down it's incredible okay now I already see these ridges right here these ridges right there are signs that it's a sun simulated product um, I'm gonna take dehazing way down see it's it's almost like a lens flare of what they're showing what they're hiding is something like this maybe a real sun i don't know i'm just saying okay so phil shows us stuff like this and um 
I just did. I'm not saving any of these pictures. It'll be in the video, so I'll save them there. The same thing. This time I'm going to go a little bit extreme. Say same picture, right? Let's go a little bit extreme. Oh, what's that? Smoking mirrors. But really, what they don't want you to see, it was that. <laughs> that was great. Thank you, Phil. That was awesome. Um, this is back in 2020, you know, 1020. Um, right there, you picked these up in Alaska. So, looks like to me, this is just one big um, massive cover-up. Uh, just to distract you from the truth. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here like a scientist and tell you this is what it really is. I'm just going to say, I'm showing you visual truth. It's still there, dude. Dude and dudettes from California. Okay, let's see what else we got. Now, Phil's got a lot of stuff in here, so i got to not ramble too hard about anything. Let's go to one of his folders. Um... This is some of his newest ones. And Phil, Phil posts comments, but then I also, like this one's one of his theories. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you his theory. I'm just gonna show you the pictures. What he, I'll tell you what he does. This is like another one he caught. And he's showing these because he's wanting to show you how the sun simulator could be. Like he was saying that these three stripes could be um, from behind some simulators. Let's do a little dehazing. Bring it in close. And he was saying that, you know, uh, it could be a reflection from other sun sums. And so, you know, this is what? 8-2. That's real current, guys. That's just a few days ago. Okay, I'm just going to do it again. Okay, but this time I'm going to take this thing into one of my auto filters. Now, whatever is dark, it will make it darker. Whatever is light will stay lighter. Um... Let's see what we get. These are my proven filters that I've used a few times. So now is it real or not? Ah, you tell me. What I do is I just try to bring it out. This is not a lens flare. I think they were saying could it be a lens flare on the back side of the lens and stuff like that. But I've, I've thought about all that and I've looked at it and I don't know if it is or not. I don't know. Um, but I do know he catches enough of them to know they're out there. And this has an orange and a green in it. That's the actual color. So if I back that off, and I just did color auto correction, not right there, just the auto correction. I took my tools this time. I'm gonna go clarity. I'm gonna go contrast. I'm going to go exposure down. Turns the sun off down up there. Exposure more down. You can see the colors. They're kind of rusty looking. Uh, could it could it be a, what is it they call it, a dionosphere around it? Maybe it's the red planet and they got like a, they're pulling the energy from it. So they got these bars around it. I've seen some crazy stuff in space. But I don't know. I'm not saying it is or not. I'm just speculating. But you know. Listen to Mike around the world. He's saying that some stuff's going to be happening soon. And I do have a, a good narration of some of this stuff about planets. The original 20 year old, 20 years ago, 25, 30 years ago, guys were coming on the internet when it first came on. They were trying to show stuff they were ridiculed and everything. But they pressed in. I like that shot right there myself. This is pretty real looking. Um, let's get this from the simulator stuff. He's got a lot of pictures. I'll put these in a I'll put these in a movie one day. You know me. I utilize everything. Let's just go to a fast filter. So how's everybody doing out there? Um, my name's Chris, by the way, if you didn't catch that. Um, this is what I do. I take real pictures people catch. These are FAA cams from the weather. You know, the the weather for airports, small airports in Alaska and Canada, they use the FAA. That one's just too dark, but I like it. Anyways, we'll go on. He's talking about the theory of this one. He's talking about the theory of, you know, the stripes could be just reflections on the back side. Um, 
Look at this. I think that was the one I just pulled down. And what Phil does is he'll take his telescope and put a, a shield against the sun on the right there. Though. You'll see it. Where's it at? There it is. That's like a shield. Um, so here's the sun, what we see, and then a lot of times we see those round objects. And even like the objects I was just showing you, they were so big. And it's not a spider web in front of a light. It's already been tested. This is, these are things in the atmosphere. My computer's just bagging up a storm. I think these are natural things they're putting out there. Um, this looks like a ring of a sun simulator. If you go back to my machine videos, you can see them all. They're in the 2022 list. This is going to be another one. But you see this. You know, what? Okay, you got the... Either this is a sun simulator back here. This is another sun simulator. Or this is one of the, the stars. But it's reflecting white, maybe, from the sun. And then this right here, I know for a fact, is a ring of one of the sun simulators. This even could be a ring of the sun simulator. So, pretty wild. So he's got this. He's, he uses about 500 bucks worth of filters on. So he don't get the glare from the sun. He wants to see what's outside the sun. And if I could show you. My computer's just lagging. I actually need a new computer. This is without doing any filtering. Now if I dehaze that. Just a little bit. This is stuff. I don't know what that is, guys. I really don't. Um, I'll take you to some more of Phil's stuff. And I'm just going to show you a bunch of Phil's stuff. So you remember, he's got like a, a sidewall here over the sun, and then he puts a heavy duty filter. Okay. So let me keep going. Let's see if I can sort these some ridiculous update. Let's just get, I'll just go random folders. Let me see if we've already discussed this one. Maybe. I see these, these are like small moons, ships. Some might say ships. Um, I have no idea what that is. I would say that's a ship, personally. This thing could be just a full-blown sun simulator um, turned off. You know, I'm, I'm speculating a lot because I'm not up there actually watching this stuff real close. He's really separating the sun good from me so you can see what's really in him. There's not much more I could do to these, but I could do some black on them. Yeah. And this is what you're getting here, folks. Contrast. Oh, contrast is sweet. So, you know, some of them look like ships. Some of them look like pieces of rock. Um, I have a theory that they have some type of uh, tool where they could gather these things up. Seriously, gather them up. Now, see, I, I've shown you that white planet beside the sun. That's what it looks like out in space, um, side to side, with the sun simulator. Or a star shade, they call it too. Here's one, I don't know, I didn't see, I've never seen this one, this is the first time. Yeah. To me, you know, I'm telling you, like a star shade. But you know, it also could be the will within the will. I don't know. Just showing you, it could be an entity. People have that theory that it might be alive. Some people think, oh, these are gas giants. And this is Sun Simulator Edge. Let's see what else we got from Phil. Updating, updating, updating.
Okay, I'm just going to show you a few of the things that Phil's showing us about the Sky Machines, what they're hiding. So you look right here, and this is just regular. Um, let's see how big this is. His stuff is pretty good quality, way up there. Remember, he's got his house. Okay, this is three three K um, nine. Wow, it's pretty big. Three thousand by three thousand. That's three K going up four K. Okay, so what we see here. Let's go back. What we see here. Just a collection of objects, rocks, meteors. I mean, you know, they're not telling the whole story. They're telling parts of the story. Kind of make you feel better, you know something. But this is what we're seeing. And Phil's constantly showing us these lenses um, and these objects hiding. See what I'm saying? Or are these moons? I don't know. I think they're part of the lens system, personally. Um, so I'll do some more on this later. But right now, I just want you to see the coalition relation with uh, what we've been looking at so there's a whole game going up a hide and seek going up there you know and so you see the rims now look at the rims when you watch the video with the um, round red and then another red and then another red remember we've seen that in Canada where two suns came up and then a red planet in between so you know it's they can't tell, I mean, can you imagine the panic if everybody knew an asteroid was coming in that could wipe out all America? There would be no life from that day on. So, because they can't do nothing, maybe they're just not saying nothing, so when it hits us, maybe a few of us, like myself, will be awake. Um, but, you know, we appreciate you, Phil. Thanks for, you know, all that you do out here. You get some of the best stuff, and you, you see, there's no hiding that right there. There's rocks. Okay, I'll give you some more in a minute. See, he has the same thing. False sun, sun similar to star shade. A1. Whatever this is, is like... Mm, I don't know. Let's go back a little bit. You'll say this is the false sun on the bottom here. Let's see if we can clear those up. What in the heavens? What in the heaven? I know this is part of the sun simulator just from seeing enough pictures. I think that videos were showing them building them. But I'm not sure what that is. Because these are all the same kind of shapes. You see what I'm saying? These almost remind me of ships that is flying by us, the whole fleet. I don't know. But let's just go a little deeper. Contrast it. I'm going to take the dehaze and get all that glare off of them. When you do that, it darkens them. I don't think they're moths on a window. <laughs> I just thought of them. They could be moths, but they all look the same. Um, no, they're not moths. Uh, you tell me. I don't know. Let's, not, let's go to the next one. <laughs> okay, right here we got one. This is live filtering. Just the pictures he sent me. He tries to get them on all the angles. I'm going to dehaze it. And take it down. I'm going to add some black on this one because I think it will contrast really good. And then I'm going to contrast it, and that will bring it out. A bit more light on it. Popcorn? No, I don't know what that is. That thing again right there. I think that's the bottom of a ship. Check that out. I do not know, folks. But I hope you're enjoying this because these are especially from Phil. I got quite a bit of them. Um, as you can see, they're fascinating. You could you could sit here for a while. Are there UFOs? Are there just rot a lot of rocks or hiding to all the glare? Mm, got me. And this right here looks like a asteroid. I think this right here is an asteroid. Pieces of asteroids. No, 
you know, I'm not crazy, but I think some ships are in there, you know, detracting stuff from bouncing. Anyways, let's see if I can get a better shadow on that. Oh, yeah, that's a piece of asteroid. Right there. Right there. See how it comes out greenish? I think it's an asteroid. Okay, next one. So he sends me these, and he wants, to, he wants you to see what he's thinking they are. These are like big chunks of debris. Okay, now what we see, you know, when you've seen Amy's picture in the beginning, well, a lot of times what we're seeing is this on Earth. Now remember, everything's going to be magnified because of the distance and stuff. And it really is magnified. Now, why would they be putting so many chemtrails to hide this? Right? Well, they really don't want you to know. Now, this is like a, a, reflect, uh, a lens flare, right? This red one, I think. These are chemtrails. And the chemtrails are trying to hide this. Um, they're just trying to hide all the fakeness about it. Let's just go down fast, my world. I do this. I want you to see clearly, guys. This is like some kind of weird face. <laughs> I had to say it. You see the rings? Good indication they're using sun simulators. Um, just some ridiculousness of deception. Crazy deception. Well, I'm hoping this thing's recording. Take a little break. I'll be right back. <laughs> 